It's Saturday, April 23rd, 2022. It's about 1.40 in the afternoon. And today I am going to take a look at uh, just how crowded it is here in the early season in Acadia National Park. And I'm specifically, I'm gonna be looking at the crowding at the Bass Harbor Head Lighthouse, the uh, Ship Harbor Nature Trail, and the Wonderland Nature Trail. So we'll see what's going on here in terms of early season tourism. So let's take a look at the lighthouse. Down there through the woods is the Bass Harbor Head Lighthouse with the Bass Harbor Bar uh, just outside it. And right now, not counting my car, there are three cars here. While I was driving down, three others left. So yeah, I'd say that they're probably averaging four or five cars here at this time of the afternoon. And none of these cars are from Maine. So these are early season tourists. Last night, I walked down here at sunset and there were 18 cars here. It was pretty crazy. Let's walk down just a little bit and get a little better view of the water from here. So not too crowded here now, but if you come down at sunset on a weekend, on a nice day like today, you can probably ex expect to find about 20 cars here, most of them from out of state. So let's move over and take a look at the Ship Harbor Nature Trail. Well, here I am at the Ship Harbor Nature Trail, and uh, there are only four cars here today, uh, if you don't count mine. And uh, three of them are from Maine. Yesterday, at about uh, 2.30, there were 10 cars here. So, and they were mostly out of state. Let's just walk over and have a look at the beginning of the trail. And a little bit of Ship Harbor through the trees. So it's not that crowded here. Uh, I'm surprised because it is a very nice day today. A little breezy, warm, about 50 degrees, and sunny. So here's the beginning of the trail. This trail, of course, is open all year, so you can come anytime. And there's Ship Harbor through the trees. Looks like the tide is currently out. Sorry about the wind noise, as I said, it's pretty breezy here. Okay, let's move down and take a look at Wonderland. I'm now at the Wonderland Trail parking area, and there are 10 cars here. They're about half from out of state, so about half of these people are probably bona fide tourists, and the other half are probably locals who are walking the trails, taking advantage of the fact that they're not super busy yet. And there's the beginning of the trail right there. Now I intend within the next 10 days or so before the end of April to walk both Ship Harbor and Wonderland. So I will be shooting video of what those trails look like in April 2022. Okay, let's move on and take a look at the seawall area, the picnic area specifically. Well, here we are at the seawall picnic area. This is the part that's open all year. And even some people over at one of the picnic tables over there. There are six cars here right now. And uh, three of them are from out of state. So we got three sets of tourists. Here's a nice view out over the Atlantic Ocean toward the Duck Islands. Very nice day today. And the rest of the cars that are parked here and down this way is the entrance to the main part of the picnic area and it looks like it's open so I think we'll walk down there and see what it looks like that's where most of the picnic tables are there's the view over toward Great Cranberry Island. Very, very pleasant day out here today. The ocean is nice and calm. 
considering that only a couple days ago it was blowing 60 knots or around 70 miles an hour from the direction the camera is pointing right now which is east and it was pretty rough in here so the picnic area itself is open at least you can drive in and park and sit at a picnic table they have not uncovered the trash receptacles yet and in a second we'll see if the restroom is open incidentally the restrooms at the bass harbor head lighthouse and at the ship harbor nature trail were not open yet now, i suspect this one may not be open either you can see there was a lot of wind damage in here this winter we had a couple of really big storms with 80 mile an hour winds you can see fallen trees that are cut up there here and up toward the restrooms so lots of wind damage and i can smell the freshly cut and split wood this may turn into firewood for the fire pits here in the picnic area or the park service may truck it off so and pretty quiet here there's at least one more car parked up here so that makes seven cars but other than that the seawall picnic area is not very busy right now and there's the restroom back there and yes it is still closed for the season so it'll probably be opening up in a about three weeks to a month let's take a look at the entrance to the seawall campground which is just a short walk from here here's the entrance to the seawall campground as you can see the gate is still shut on april 23rd today we're still just over a month from the official opening of the campground for the 2022 season i believe it opens on may 25th however you can go online to recreation.gov and make a reservation to stay here and i believe that like last year there will be no first come first serve reservations here you can only make a reservation online so got about a month till this opens up and within the next week or so i will also be walking through the campground to take a look at it and see how well they cleaned up all of the windfall from the big storms which was really bad in here this year so that is a quick look at the seawall campground today april 23rd 2022 now let's go over and end this video at the seawall proper all right we're at seawall now and this is uh, just a little bit east of the seawall campground and this is an actual natural seawall that the highway is on top of and there are two cars here other than me so it's nice and quiet today not many people and here is the view toward great cranberry island the ocean is very calm today tide is out it's a very peaceful spot right now and a pleasant uh, place to come and look at the ocean and a couple days ago when we had a big easterly storm the uh, surf was washing over the road where I am standing right now at high, at high tide on that day. So things have changed a bit. As you can see, this is a good time of year to visit Acadia National Park um, and take a look at places like this without the crowds. Now, there are a few people, but not many. And on the other side of the road is the seawall pond and there are often various birds 
and I believe there are some beavers that live here and if you're at the right time of day you'll certainly see some birds and you may see the beavers they're fairly active they like to dam the outflow to the pond and which raises the pond level and that brings the National Park Service in to tear their dam down so the, there's a sort of ongoing battle between the beavers and the Park Service here so this is the seawall area in Acadia National Park on the 23rd of April 2022 okay I'm gonna end the video here and I just wanted to show you that there are some tourists here even at, in April uh, there were more yesterday for some reason even though it's a beautiful perfect day today uh, it's not as crowded as I expected there are a few people here but not many anyway I have to go to Bar Harbor Monday and Tuesday of this week uh, Monday's supposed to be a nice sunny day so I'm probably going to take advantage of that to go up to the top of Cadillac Mountain as well as down into Bar Harbor proper. And we'll also maybe take a look at Eagle Lake from the carriage road because the carriage roads are open to pedestrians, not to bicycles or horses yet, but you can walk the carriage roads again. So anyway, just wanted to show you what it looks like here on April 23rd, 2022. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And why don't you think about subscribing to my channel for more uh, videos about Acadia National Park here on Mount Desert Island, Maine. Thanks for watching.